I go my hand. After having Cedar's parents with us for a couple of days, I wanted to get the corrugated tin siding finished on the other side of the front door. There's a little spot around the back door that needs to be finished, but other than that, this is all that's left on the house. Enough time has gone by since I originally installed this that I couldn't remember whether or not I put a stain on this. As I got it removed, I figured out that I actually had stained it. The stain that we originally used, I've kind of had second thoughts on, although it has protected the wood incredibly well, 
but we've gotten a different color every time we've used it. As we've seen other homes that have used wood like ours, we've seen different examples of stains and we're leaning towards a darker stain. But now because we used that original stain, I'm not sure how it's gonna go. I may have to sand some of that original stain off on the front of the house before I can do the darker stain. There's still part of me that's considering taking all of this siding off that's installed horizontally and making the whole house board and batten, especially after I get the shop done. The shop will be board and batten from head to toe, and it may look better together if everything is board and batten. I originally bought two bunks of this Doug Fur 1x12 about three years ago, and I paid $1,000 for more than enough siding to do our entire house. Now it was B grade siding, but even still, I would venture to say it would cost me somewhere in the neighborhood of about four to five thousand to do the same thing. This is all of this type of corrugated tin that I had left. I'm sure I could find more, but this tin is very old. I would venture to say it's post World War II, but probably from the 40s. It's a thicker gauge than most corrugated tin, and the ribs are tighter together, which gives it a very unique look. As I got to the end, I was struggling to find just the right pieces to get it finished. If you've been watching since the beginning, I got this corrugated tin off an old mink shed that was about to be knocked down. The owner of the land listed the corrugated tin for a few hundred dollars, but it had to be removed. The interesting fact is this particular tin was underneath about two inches of old rotted leaves and the exposed tin was newer, aluminized tin that I really didn't even want. But I talked the owner into selling me all of it and it's worked out well here. At one time there used to be many mink farms around us. I don't know if there are any left because the market for the commercial mink pelt has significantly dropped off over the years. We also have wild mink around us as well as others in that same family like ermines and their notorious chicken killers. When I was tearing that tin off of that mink shed, it was on an old barn that hadn't been used for years. And while I was working on it, I saw a large mink come running out from underneath one of the barns and attack a rabbit that was easily five times the size. And it attempted to drag that rabbit back under that barn. But the rabbit and the mink saw me and somehow the rabbit escaped. We've lost a number of chickens over the last few years to mink and other predators in that same category.
We don't see them very often, but when I do, I get concerned. Recently, two of the barn cats that we have cornered one just long enough for me to get involved. It's been a while since we lost a chicken to a predator, thank goodness. It's done. It's going to dry clear. The coffee will dry clear. I got that piece on the. Oh, hallelujah. It looks great. Would you like the grating point? Yeah, I can't quite remember how things lined up. But... Looks good. Okay. Um, do you have to restain? Yeah, yeah, yep. I'll have to restain a few of them. From something else, or it just has yeah, to be that's from my grinder. That's from your grinder? Oh, it's weird. It looks like stain. Good job. I've been wanting that done for a long time. When we did this siding, did we live here when you did the other siding on the house? I can't remember. I remember. I didn't think that I had stained this, but I pulled the, these pieces off, and that's stained on the back of it. Huh. So I'm going to have to sand it and stain it again. And you got that thing fixed, too, finally. Yeah. Good. Okay. Are you happy it's done? Once that caulking dries, it'll look better. This side's starting to look better. Is it taking forever because it's so cold? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just need to get some old antiques or something to put on this side over here. My plant's done. That's where the uh, seat's going to go, isn't it? The what? The patio set, whatever you call it. What do you call it? The patio set that yeah. we haven't... I thought that was going over there. Next spring, we may come out again. Okay, well that's done. I need to do the back door. I was going to do the back door today, but I'm... What, what's in the back door? Finish the back door. I haven't done the, anything on the back door. Oh, the siding? Yeah. Alright, this is my weather vane that I picked up to go on top of the cupola with my retriever dog on top of it. Um, I found it on the local internet and I gave about 180 bucks for it. Um, I love it, but it's too bright and shiny for me. So I'm gonna hit it with some vinegar and salt and see if I can't get it to oxidize a little bit before I install it up on the roof. I can't go get on the roof of the shop right now because it's just a little bit too cold and there's a thin layer of ice. So I'm waiting for the sun to come out and warm things up before I go do that. So I'm gonna hit it with some vinegar and salt. I'm on the hunt again for another dog. I've still yet to replace that companion dog that I once had in my English Setter Ruger. And while we love the dogs that we have, I don't have that dog that jumps in my truck with me and goes everywhere I go. I find myself looking at setters, Labradors, and Retrievers. But because of my relationship that I had with my dog Ruger, I'm being a little bit picky about the next dog that I bring into our family. I'm the kind of person that needs a companion dog. The kind of relationship that I had with my dog Ruger was unlike any other relationship I'd ever had with a dog. And for that reason, I suppose I'm being a little bit picky on the next dog. When I designed the cupola to be installed in pieces, it probably wouldn't have been a bad idea to put a hinge on the roof to maybe make it a little bit safer. But as you saw, I just learned the hard way. 
why a hinge and a crutch would have been good for the roof. I found this copper weather vane about an hour away and it happened to have a retriever sitting on top of the directionals and the price was right. But it was a little bit too shiny so I patinaed it a little bit and now it looks great. The dog is designed to move with the wind while the directionals are stationary. I suppose I'm a bit of a romantic when it comes to these things. Now it's officially cold enough in the mornings that I find myself dragging my feet on going outside and getting to work. When it gets below about 20 degrees, if I don't keep moving, my hands and my feet start to be an issue. I decided today was a good day to fix the stereo in my truck. I've been trying to find someone local that could install a new stereo in my truck for the last six or eight months since my stereo quit working and I haven't had a whole lot of success. So I called my little brother who happens to be an expert in the field and he gave me the confidence to get it done. I went down to one of the big box stores, paid about $100 for a new stereo, and as you see, I slowly figured out the wiring and was able to get a new Bluetooth stereo installed. I suppose the only reason I would show something like this is I believe it's super important to stretch your wings once in a while. When it comes to cars, I hate wiring. That has a tendency to scare me off. But in this situation, I felt like it was an opportunity for me to learn a little bit. And truthfully, installing a radio is not that complicated. but now I can drive up and down the road listening to the music that I want to listen to. And I would love to play for you one of my new favorite songs off Coulter Wall's new album, but that wouldn't be good for my relationship with YouTube. When the sun finally came out, I decided to fix one of the problems that I've been having with my truck for a while. The front ends on these second generation Dodge trucks are notorious for getting sloppy. And I knew I had a worn out drag link that needed to be replaced. I picked the part up for it about three weeks ago and it's been sitting, waiting for me to find the time to get it done. And I decided today was the day. I finally took a day out of the week to knock out some of these little things that have been piling up.
And truthfully, it feels good to check off a bunch of little things as opposed to one big thing. My oldest daughter, Sage, just shot me a text uh, asking to use some of my tools uh, to hang something. She bought something she wants to hang in her little apartment and I feel like I probably should do a better job helping her, although she's a pretty independent kid. So I'm gonna run into town and help her with whatever this is real quick and also uh, see how my truck drives now that I fixed that uh, drag link or whatever that is. Yeah. Hi. How you doing? How you doing? Uh, I ran into town to give Sage a hand getting her new swing installed in the corner of her apartment. She doesn't ask for help very often, so when she started asking if she could borrow my tools, I figured I needed to go help her. She's a very independent kid and I love her dearly. And as I've said in past videos, I remind her to remind her boyfriend that I have no problem going back to prison. I'm just really nervous. Do you want to put a pillow on your head? Just in case. Hold that thing ain't coming out. <laughs> just don't let it read get crazy in that thing. She's a good kid and she's doing things her way. She hasn't spent as much time up at the ranch because of her age, but she means the world to me. And anything I can do to make her smile, I'm gonna do. After uh, running into to town to help Sage with her little project, um, I'm going to call it for the day. My plan was to start building shelves for um, all of my tools. I, you I got bought all a, the two by fours, right? Yeah, Which I got all the wood to do it. Um, we have the nicest toolbox that I've ever owned showing up in a few days. And so my plan is to kind of get everything organized um, and ready before that toolbox gets here. That sounds like my idea of fun. You can help. <laughs> and then um, the plan is to kind of start getting everything out of the utility room that's tool related and get it out here all in one place. But uh, anyway, tomorrow I'll build the shelves. I'm also going to start bringing all the insulation down uh, for the shop. And then we're going to start the electrical on the shop as well real quickly. So hopefully by this Sunday, the insulation is done and we're, we're starting to rope in the electrical for the shop. So...
Take that, bro. Who's chasing who now, huh? <laughs>